Hi, welcome to my adventure. I went up to the Apache Tier Mine. You have to drive down some rugged roads, you have to cross a little brook, and then walk a ways. There was lots of desert cactus, rocks, sky, plenty to see. The hike uphill started almost immediately. If we'd have head left after the brook, we would be down there. There's a cute little cactus. That's a hedgehog cactus. The walk continues going up. I don't know what this thing's called. It had pretty yellow flowers. There were quite a few of them on the way up. The bees were buzzing away, making a lot of noise. There were some ruins down there. Not sure if they were old or new. There seems to be more caves down there. Nice rock formations. Be a great place to go boondocking down there. Another cave under the rocks. The stream that's down there makes things pretty green. Lots of cottonwood trees grow within that creek. The Nakatillos were all in bloom. There were lots of them in that situation. This is the material that the Apache Tears are found in. I'm not sure what it's called. This is the arrival at the Apache Tear Mine itself. There's a fence that goes around, but there's an entrance on either side. There were lots of people there excavating and enjoying the beautiful day. Come to find out, we had gone the long way and had walked around the back of this to come in from the right. When we left, we went out the other way, down that way, where others had come in. The walls within the caves were filled with Apache tears. You can see them here. The black dots are tears. It's been very chiseled out. I saw so many faces in that wall. Very cool. There's a big cave-like hole up there. You could tell people had climbed up, excavated, drew pictures on the wall. It was quite high. 
I'm sure it can't be the safest place either since this white rock is quite brittle. Not that hard to tap into and collect the Apache tears within. Apache tear are strewn all over the ground where people concentrate on bigger ones and let the little ones fall. how they cave carved that little hole out but you can see it has a nice big tear up at the top and one in the back it's not a huge area but there's plenty of carving and plenty of tears for plenty more years to come I'm sure Tears themselves are very delicate. You can see here where one of them got broken and cracked open instead of coming out full. And here are leftovers where people have chiseled and just left those behind. We were happy to pick them up. We weren't choosy. We liked the little ones. We took some of them home like that and chiseled them away later on. Within those big ones, you have little tiny babies in there too sometimes. So many to pick. My pockets were full by the time I left. This is a little farther down along the path. The view is beautiful. There's, I think it's called Arnett Canyon down there. This is our loot. These are all the ones that we gathered. You can see that some are darker black, some are more brown. It'd be interesting to see what they look like once they're tumbled. One's a little bit bigger. And our three biggest ones. This is after we've tumbled them for just a day. We're going to rinse them off and see how they look. I have some ceramic pieces in there and a couple of other rocks that I had found along the way. Give them a good rinse. It was really just cleaning them off and see what they look like. Rocks always look so cool when they're wet. It's a nice big one. Apache tear are obsidian, but not all obsidian are Apache tear. Just breaking away from that original rock that they're in. 
tap, tap, tap it away. I don't want to tap too hard because I don't want to break the tear itself. But you have to tap quite a bit. That stuff's pretty difficult to get. And yet other times it just crumbles to nothing. There's a nice one. This was our biggest one. Tom's gonna tap this one, get it nice and clean. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when it's nice and tumbled. That chunk had little babies in it too. So I think all together that one piece produced that big one and four or five babies. I'm not sure how long I'm going to have to tumble them to get them nice and black and clean. Hopefully not too long. This chunk had no tears in it at all. Whoop, that popped out. <laughs> oh, I broke it. Now I have three little pieces. And that's the end of those that we collected. Can't wait to go back and get some more. It was a lot of fun. It wasn't the easiest hike like they suggest in the articles we saw, but it was easy enough. We enjoyed it.